Richard Baker, and I'm the programmer for our team. I'm Nicholas Irons, I worked on the building and the design of the robot. Hi, I'm Malcolm Robertson, and I'm a programmer and a scribe. My name is Patrick McVeigh, and I am the, one of the builders on this team and a videographer. I'm Chase Boyce, and I helped build the machine physically. I designed and shoot. Hi, I'm Dakota Hennon, and I was part of the design and construction of the robot. Week one, we opened the box and were overwhelmed by all the packages there were. We just looked for the important pieces. Week two, we designed the first robot with wheels. It was too big and it didn't move that well. Week three, we redesigned it with the tank-like tracks and it was able to pivot and move around. Week four, we designed the drop bucket and programmed it to move and find color, but the drop bucket didn't work and decided to work a few more days in the week. Week five, we decided to change the dump type dispenser to a conveyor drop dispenser. We also designated the Bristol board boundaries for some practice runs with the robot. Week six, the conveyor type design was more complicated to design. Tried several different designs for loading the blocks and dropping the blocks onto the correct pucks. Programming challenges when designing the footprint were encountered. Adding sensors and components to complete the task became an issue. We tried several different ways to hold the sensors in place, but decided to focus on the block drop dispenser before continuing. We then changed the lever type dispenser to a plunger type dispenser to place the block on the puck. What we find challenging now is the Lego parts seem to bind and stick when they're moving. We're now programming both of the motors for the wheels of the robot so they move simultaneously. We then programmed the color sensor so that it stops when it sees specific colors. We tested the arm movement of the robot so that we could calibrate its strength, speed, and precision. We wrote a program to calibrate the infrared sensors. We're programming a pattern for the color deployment. We're currently working out more complex programs involving many of the precisely said programs into one universal code.